For this demo, this is the law of inertia, uh, which states an object at rest will stay at rest unless there is an outside net force. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to exert a outside net force on this playing card right here, but I'm not going to exert a outside net force on this red hot chili pepper. And if I do it correctly, because there's no external net force acting on this pepper, except for the force of gravity, the pepper should fall into place. All right. In three, two, one. Physics. All right. In this demo, we're going to do the law of inertia demo, where an object at rest stays at rest, unless there's an external net force, um, with the, the glass of water and the red hot chili pepper from the previous demo. Now, this system is on top of a piece of paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exert a net external force on the piece of paper, but not the glass of water. If I do this properly, because I'm not exerting a net external force on the glass, the glass should just stay right there. This is a smaller version of the tablecloth trick. Now, for a couple of tips. When you pull on this piece of paper, you have to pull with a horizontal force. That way, there's no vertical forces acting on this glass. Because if there is, this glass just might flip. All right, three, two, one, physics. Here's another demo you can do with the law of inertia and Newton's second law. Here I have another line. This line, it doesn't have a lot of mass. So when I exert a force on it, it's able to accelerate really easily. Watch. So easy. Now, here I have a chair looking thing. This has a lot of mass. And so when I exert a force on it, ugh, it's really hard for me to accelerate it because it has so much mass. And so it doesn't matter how much force I exert on it, it's, the acceleration will be super low. Physics. Here's another demo that you can do. Back in the kinematics unit, we said that all objects dropping drop with the same rate. The acceleration due to gravity, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So it doesn't matter if you have a line or if you have 160 pieces of candy. Now, the line has a lot less mass compared to 160 pieces of candy. And so what a lot of people think is that when you drop these two, because this is so much heavier, this will hit the ground first. I want to show you that that's not the case. Both objects will accelerate with negative 9.8. All right, so you're going to hold it at the same height and you're going to drop it simultaneously. Three, two, one. <laughs> Physics. Now, just in case you thought that the previous demonstration was just me doing some magic, here's a different demo that you can do. Here, I have one tortilla. and the other hand, I have about 15 tortillas. Now we can all agree that one tortilla has less mass than 15 tortillas. And so if I drop them from the same height, we can see that the acceleration due to gravity affects all things equally. So it doesn't matter if you have more mass or not, both objects will fall at the same rate. At three, two, one. Physics. Now here's a different one that you can do. This one is Newton's third law that says for every force, there's an equal but opposite reactionary force. I'm going to push the earth down. And when I push the earth down, the earth will also have a reactionary force. Watch carefully. If you blink, you might miss it. All right? In three, two, one. Did you see that? When I push the earth down, the earth pushed me back up. Physics. Still don't believe that the third law is a thing? Here's a different demo that you can do. Remember, the third law states that for every force, there's an equal but opposite force. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to exert a force on this wall. Now, when I exert a force on that wall, the wall is going to exert a force back on me. You ready? In three, two, one. Did you see that? When I exerted a force on the wall, the wall pushed back on me. Physics. Here's a different one that we can do. This one is Newton's second law. The net force on an object, a system, will cause it to accelerate. Now, I've been telling all of us that an 
object cannot exert a force on itself, right? A system can't exert a force on itself. It has to be, be from an outside source. So here's a demo that you can do to see if this is true. All right, so me and this chair, we are part of the system. So I am sitting on the chair, I am part of the system. I'm gonna try my hardest to pull myself up by pulling up on the chair. Now, if physics fails me, you should see both me and the chair rise up. Ready? In three, two, one. It didn't work. Physics. Here's a different demonstration that you can do to show Newton's laws of gravity. Now, we discussed that the weight equation, f of g is equal to m times g, or w is equal to m times g. Here I have a 15 pound kettlebell. This has um, a, a different amount of mass than this 35 pound kettlebell. The 15 pound kettlebell has less mass than this 35 pound kettlebell. And we can see that because if I put this 15 pound kettlebell on the scale, It reads 15 pounds. That's the weight. But if I put a 35 pound kettlebell, it reads 35 pounds. They have the same acceleration due to gravity, but they have different weights or they have different forces of gravity. Physics. They say that Isaac Newton was sitting underneath of a tree when an apple fell on his head. I don't have any apples because this isn't an apple tree. But what I can show you is the demonstration of the acceleration due to gravity. All right, so in the previous demo, you saw that this 15 pound kettlebell has a different amount of mass than this 35 pound kettlebell. Now, hopefully I can drop it from the same height when I do, you can see that even though this one has so much more mass and is so much more heavier because it has so much more weight, they will both hit the ground at the same time. All right. All right, you ready? In three, two, one. physics. Oh hi, I didn't see you there. Now, you caught me in the middle of cooking, but anytime is a good time for a physics demonstration. Here I was, boiling an egg. I'm going to put this egg in a ice bath. I like there's no ice in here, it's just cold water. To show you Newton's first law of motion, which says that an object in motion stays in motion. Here I have some eggs that I just took out of the fridge, and they are raw. Now inside of a raw egg uh, is the, well, the egg itself, but it's a fluid, okay? It's not solid. And so when I spin this egg, the inside fluids will spin along with the egg. Watch. You see that? Okay, now here comes the demonstration. I'm going to spin the egg and I'm going to quickly pause the egg. And when I do that, see what happens. Do you see that? It keeps on spinning. And that's because the liquid contents of the egg inside the egg, it's still in motion. An object in motion stays in motion. Now, let's get the egg that I boiled. The inside contents is a solid. It's the, the egg, the shell, and the, the inside is all just one giant thing. So when I spin this egg, the inside, it'll spin with it. But when I stop it, because it's all part of one system, the entire inside of the egg will also stop. Now if I do this, hopefully the boiled egg will also stop spinning. Physics. Here's another demonstration that you can do. This is the law of inertia. I have here in front of me a stack of Jenga blocks. Now, 
we can consider this all to be part of one system. Or we can think that there's all of these systems all just combined together, all these tiny little masses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exert a force on this bottom block right there. Now because that's the only block that I'm exerting a force on, hopefully the rest of the blocks should stay in place. You ready? Three, two, one. Fist it.